Hey guys, Cam here with the Incipio Dual Pro for iPhone 5 unboxing and first looks. Now, when I had the iPhone 4, the Dual Pro was one of my all-time favourite cases for the iPhone 4. Features an inner layer which is um, rubber silicone. On the outside is a material they call Plextonium, um, which is essentially just a hard plastic. Um, both combined give you a really kind of impact resistant case. But if we open the box, it's got a lift to open tab here. Uh, it's uh, it's quite a tight fit. I think I've just broken the case, the box. But anyway, the packaging is ruined now, so I'll take that out of there. I say this is the case. I just put that to one side for a second. You can actually see the only reason I'm doing an unboxing is because. It actually comes with a few extra goodies in the case. It's not just the case that comes with it. So if I just put the packaging to one side, um, this is kind of holding it in place, so I'll get rid of that. Now this here um, is like a little stand, a little vanity stand for your iPhone 5. Um, now, if I check on the back here, you can see... Um, it says it's a vanity kit, so, oh yeah, sorry, the vanity kit is this, sorry, I got that mixed up, the vanity kit is this, it's a screen protector and a microfiber cloth, and obviously this kind of squeegee card which you use to put the screen protector on your iPhone if you don't want it to get scratched, etc. The glass is quite tough and should resist scratches quite well, but just in case. Um, and then there's this folding stand, um, which I haven't really had a chance to look at and I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, how you apply it. Now maybe that's me just being stupid but oh here we go that was pretty simple. Um, so yeah that will fit there and obviously when your phone's in it you I guess you fold this tab up at the bottom. There we go. So yeah so you put your iPhone in and then you've got a neat little stand comes in the package. Put that to one side and you can see the case itself comes with this uh, paper thank you for purchasing an Incipio product card which I guess is uh, unimportant um, but here's the silicone rubber interior um, and then the plastic shell which kind of fits outside it now what you probably won't be able to tell on camera and almost certainly won't be able to tell on camera is it's got this really nice soft touch textured feel which makes it it feels comfortable in your hand um, which is one thing I really loved about the iPhone 4 series so if I just grab my iPhone and slot it inside, now you'll see on the silicone layer, you've got all the cutouts in the right place. Um, <coughs> um, just there, my camera is just about focused on there. So you've got your headset jack, your speaker grill, and obviously um, your micro lightning connector and etc. on there. There's nothing on that side because that's where your SIM card goes. Home key, uh, lock key, sorry. And your mute switch goes a cutout and obviously your up and down volume switches have their own buttons on there. So that's a really kind of snug fit. It's not incredibly uh, stiff material, but then that's why you get this hard outer plextonium shell, which kind of fits over. It does need a little bit of encouraging to fit into all the right grooves perfectly the first time. But it's not as bad as the iPhone 4 version that I had for that. But yeah, that feels good. It looks, I think, looks great. Um, so there we have it. There's a first look. So I'll have a full review up on the site, probably written review. So be sure to check out today's iPhone.com uh, and follow me on Twitter if you want to ask me anything about this case or any other things I review. Feel free. I'm at TIP underscore cam and I'll see you again soon.